Guys, welcome back to Predatory Fiends. What a day. What a day from, I'm not even going to say hell because that's a pretty bad place, but we were close to that, okay? Starting by last night, I went to um, finish the acclimation table for today because we had 40 boxes behind the truck. As soon as I walk into the shop, the 600 gallon in the back blew open. Water was everywhere. Thank God there was no fish in it. Um, so we spent the whole night getting that clean and organized. And then today, this truck had a flat tire. Uh, fish of all life was uh, what, having a meeting, right? Mm -hmm. For like three hours. Ah, it's six o'clock now, 6.30. We're gonna unload everything and we're gonna open all these boxes, but we're still gonna film to show you everything we got in the shipment. So stay tuned. And uh, I was gonna punch the camera. Not oh, yet. I'll, I'll do it at the end. Yeah. Stay tuned. All right, so we got Dave and Mike helping out. Lisa's right there behind you. Everybody's gonna be doing something right now because we're super late and I hope these fish are all well. I hate when they tape the sides. And of course, I don't have the other knives. Oh, come on. I know. Just today is not my day. Today is not my day, that's for sure. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh wow, look at the size of these flag tails. Really pretty fish, great size. All right, well, let's, let's get them in. We got the acclimation going over here. I'm gonna put all of them. And then I'm gonna turn on the water. Another one. Good size on these guys. Whoa. They jump. They're jumpers. Okay. What I also did for the acclimation. Hold on. I got to get under here. I put a air pump up here so we can have air. Because a lot of the times these, these fish being in the bag for that long, giving them some extra air would definitely be beneficial. Watch your step over here. So this is all up and running. Let's just get some fish in there. <sighs> now, I think the only thing I gotta do left for this is find a place for the bags. That's what's gonna be the next step. Wow, really nice size. I haven't seen one this big in a long time. Can you see it? Look at the size. So these guys are flag tails, really cool fish. They were actually kiss your hand if you put them in the tank. Put it up, what is this? Oh wow, look, peacocks, really good size on these guys. Just put them in there, just open them up, yep. You'll see how good this acclimation table will work. He might come back. Yeah, he's starting to move around. He might come back to his senses. What we got here? More peacocks. Guys, this is probably the most stressful job I ever had doing this. This type of work. I've done everything. Almost everything. All right, let me turn the water on. Ugh. Oh, of course, Lewis had to close the water. Oh no, it's open. Never mind, Lewis. Your figures. What we got? Let's see. Oh wow, pretty fish. Can't really see it on the dark. Silver. Okay, is it silver? I'll do this one. Silver? Just so it's all silvers? Yeah. Okay. I'm putting the silvers up here. Is they're easy to? To deal with. So by doing this way, we're diluting the water. We got new water going in, oxygen, and the old water will drain out through here. 
more silvers, more silvers. Let me put them over here. I'll start spreading them apart. I love silvers from Colombia because they got such a nice color on them. And their barbs and the fins are perfect. Look at look at this one. Look at the fins, the barbs. Perfect barbs. Things we got whatever you got in the front. Flag tails? Yeah, flag tails. Put them in there. What we got out there? Okay, you guys doing good? What do we got? There's still water going on my foot. What is this? Flag tail? Yeah. That's another flag tail? Yeah. Flag tails just came in doing really good, so that's a, that's a plus. Look at this, guys. Now, no more water on my foot. The water drains right there. And I just did, I walked right there. More servers. What is it? Pike. Pike cichlid. This is Severum. Look, these are really cool. What do you got? Little guys, okay. Let's put little guys on right there on the right. Here? Yeah. People watching is like little guys. What what is that? Okay guys, and I know it's hard to see. Right now we're just trying to save these fish life because it took a lot longer than we expected. So we're just gonna do this quick uh, and make sure that they're acclimated well. Your Vegas. I'm worried about this peacock. I hope he can come back. Yeah, I think he's gonna make it. What is it? Ven para acá, man. Ven para acá. Oh. You like it? No, but it spiked me good. <laughs> Let's see if I can show you. I think it's a Severum or a URU. Let me see. <laughs> Hard to see. That was the good things about the clear, uh, what is that, all the same fish? Come on, show yourself. Oh wow, that looks like a big Severum. Okay, let's put them over here with the flag tail, because the flag tails are friendly. What we got, Pyaris? What's that, uh, the same as the last one? Once I finish the sea, but I'm gonna put a light here too so we can see the fish. A pleco in there? Let's see. This is the same. Oh. Blue-eyed pleco, oh, check it out. Come here, buddy. Perfect size little guy. Put them in here with the peacocks. Let them acclimate. Okay. So we got a lot of pyaras on the way. Let's see, what's this one? Another Severum. Let's put them over here. Oh! Hey, bro. The pool's on this side. Come on. Oh!
Look at the size of this guy. Perfect size. Okay, so the water on the bottom is draining out well. The one on top still filling it up. Marijuana's like, oh! <laughs> Can you not jump again? See, I made a hose a low enough so they wouldn't jump, but that little marijuana took a flight for sure. Oh, Paris? All right, guys, if you're looking for true river monsters, right here, Armadas. Hard to tell at the colors, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I think this guy's gonna make it. What do you got? One big fish there. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah. Oh, I mean, this might be the, I can't tell. I gotta find out what this is. It's cute. Close it, close it, close it, because they're jumping out. And then this small fish. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you keep doing that. This is a little, I don't know what these are. Okay, let's put them over here. I don't know, we're gonna have to look at the list. And find out what these are. Oh, that's a flag tail. Let's go down here. Flag tail? Yeah, please. Thank you. We're not even half of the way there. Wow. Right. Another flag tail. So, so far is what? Only one peacock? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm just amazed at the size of these flag tails. Look at the size. They're like 12 inches. Hey bro, get to work bro, come on bro. Get to work. You want some jelly? Oh, I got jelly. Ah, peanut butter jelly. Oh. <laughs> At least I don't have my shirt on. Okay, now these guys, hold on. We gotta put them in here because they will eat the other fish. Yeah. Do they eat each other? No, no right? No, they're not. No, they're not that advanced. Which one? Okay, so we can put them all in there. Let me get some fresh water in. Mm. This water's not bad, so I'll just put them in there. Now, when I'm adding their water to the new water coming in, that's a pretty big one right there. I'm acclimating the pH, the temperature, the, the, the pretty much everything that's in the water. I'm sure the water in the Amazon might have a little bit of salinity as well. Uh, so we're acclimating them through all water and not shocking the fish. If the, if the bag was really bad, like the fish was close to dying, I would just remove the fish and just put them in new water. Let's see, let's see. Wow. 
That's pretty. And I don't even know what it is. Lid. Thank you, Lid. Not the same fish? Are you gonna work, bro, or what? You're just gonna watch. Why don't you ask for my help? Film, film that face, film that face. Film that face, so everybody knows. What do we got? Oh! I know, bro, but watch, watch your mouth. Don't, don't film me. Don't film me. We can't curse. I just did. And what else? What else? They kiss your your hand, right? Yeah. I said kiss, not suck. John's a little weird. All right, guys. We still are eating a bunch of fish, but I'm gonna get some of them out and put it in the new tank to get the process going. Let me turn the light on here. And what I had to do yesterday is move some of these fish this way because this tank was already fully cycled. So I move a lot of the media over here and I put some of the stronger fish on this side as well, like the Pacus. So to make this other tank ready for these guys, look how beautiful they are. Beautiful fish. Sabrinas, every time we get them in, uh, we never really have a problem with them. They're very strong fish and they start eating right away. That's a big one right there. Right here, through here. Okay, the flag tails. Where I'm gonna put the flag tails. Okay, I got a tank for them. I'm gonna put them right in that tank right there. Let me start getting one by one. I'm gonna look pretty in there. Open the door. Oh, oh. Nice mid -air, mid air catch on this one. Please don't jump. Ah! I'm not even gonna say how I blocked this fish. What, which one? Gophers. Oh, gophers? Everybody loves them gophers. Oh. Look at that what are you trying to say?
Okay. Have you ever seen this many jelly catfish in your life? That's a lot. Uh, all right, where are we gonna put them? Where are we gonna put them? <laughs> 